I'm making this video uh, Sunday the 22nd of March so we're just over two and a half weeks to go to our Pesach Sidorian and I, what, I've been inundated with calls from people about in connection with the Pesach uh, Seders and this year the COVID-19 Seder is going to be different to all other Seders that we've had up to now as I can coin Manish Tanah HaSeda Azeh Mikola Sidorian why is the Seder going to be different from all previous saves. And clearly, we are facing a very serious public health threat, um, the COVID-19. So we have to really take that into serious consideration when we're planning our Sidorian. And I think this can be underlined by three general principles. The first principle are the elderly. And we know that our elderly, those over the age of 70, particularly those over the age of 80, are especially vulnerable to serious complications should they be infected with the COVID-19 virus. This also, of course, does apply to people who have underlying medical conditions or an immune system is suppressed of any age group. So that's the first consideration. The second consideration involves young children um, for two reasons. One of them because young children are very ebullient, um, their hygiene practices are not uh, the most desirable. And also, if they do get infected, they usually don't uh, exhibit any symptoms. They may be absolutely fine. Uh, and th that, that also does impose a, a, a consideration in terms of transmission of the virus. The third general principle which we need to look at is social distancing. And if I could just explain briefly, while I'm speaking now, I'm in fact generating respiratory droplets. Were they to be infected, they could actually transmit infection. And even more so when one is uh, um, singing lustily around the Pesach ta uh, uh, table, the Seder table. So I think these three considerations need to be very carefully considered when you're planning your Pesach Seder. 